you're not really actually tasting any of that coffee that you're paying for. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jackson. Um, today we're doing another coffee tip like we have been doing all of the January. So um, today we're going to be talking about some of the benefits of drinking your coffee black. So we, I know we get a lot of people that say, oh, drinking my coffee black, I can't do it. It's too bitter, yada, yada, yada. Now, while that is true at the beginning, there's a few ways to train yourself to get to the point where you're able to drink your coffee black. One of the ways when we were down in Costa Rica was you take a few sips of it and you swish it around your mouth and that actually gets rid of a lot of the other flavors that were already in your mouth and so then you can just taste the coffee and you get to taste all the complex different flavors. There's a giant um, flavor wheel that we'll probably be profiling sometime in the near future that has all the different types of flavors that you can get out of coffees and we'll explain how that works. Um, it's it's for, an, for another tip. Um, also, one benefit to drinking black coffee is that if you're watching your calories or um, your fat intake, if you drink black coffee, there's no added calories or anything. It's just a it's a good, healthy um, choice when you're drinking coffee. So it'd be a real good, easy way to drop calories that you're not even really thinking about because you're just, oh, I'm just getting my morning coffee. But if you put a whole bunch of creams and sugars in it, you're just raising that bad boy up. So another way is if you're out here buying big expensive bags of you know craft coffee but just filling them up with sugar and cream you're not really actually tasting any of that coffee that you're paying for so you're just wasting money if you're getting a 30 dollars bag of coffee but loading it up with cream and sugar so uh that's all for today hope you found this useful take it easy